Hi everyone, the name is Eric Dorr and in today's video we're asking ourselves what is my personality type? And okay, real talk. The most important thing you have to know about me is I'm not any of these 16 personality types. I am the 17th personality type. I'm the nut job. Okay, what do I mean with nut job? What do I mean with crazy? What do I mean with mad scientist? Okay, first of all, I'm not really normal in the sense that I don't really fit inside these 16 classifications. And I don't really work or behave the way you'd normally assume a person to do. I do crazy things. I'm a weirdo. And I don't mean this in a bad way. I mean this in the most loving and the most kind and the most accepting ways because I am what you'd call the Luna Love Good style beard. I'm the person that, you know, never really fit in and the person that never really got along or never really behaved with normal expectations in everyday society. And so, Let's talk about what that means for me. What were 10 signs that made me realize that I'm not normal? Okay, number one. As a kid, I believed I could see auras. Okay, so I believed I could see colors coming out from people's hands and fingers. I believed and had these kinds of synesthetic associations to people's personality and who they were based on color associations from what I saw around their fingers and around their hands and around them <laughs> kind of energy fields, right? Now, I don't believe in auras and I believe there are perfectly scientific explanations for this, but that was one sign why I was a weirdo. Sign number two, I wrote 50 page novels when I was nine years old, right? Okay, so at age nine, I wrote this, like this 50 page fanfic about Harry Potter. I was obsessed with Harry Potter. And so I sat down and I just wrote and wrote and wrote. And I wrote this really fast. I put this together like from pure imagination. I was, I loved writing and I loved reading and I read so much. And because of this, and that's sign number three, I had a really complex vocabulary. Okay, as a kid growing up, I had spoke like an adult. I didn't use the words other kids did, and I didn't talk the way kids did. I spoke as an adult in the sense that I had a normal grammatical <laughs> composition of my sentences and that I said things that a kid is not supposed to say. And that's perhaps sign number four. I would draw up astrological charts and horoscopes for people when I was 12. Okay, so age 12, I was starting to draw up these like charts of stars and planets for people based on the date they were born. And I try to even sell it to people. Okay, so if you don't believe I'm nuts already, well, here's sign number, I forgot to count. Sign number, perhaps five. <laughs> Reason number six why I'm weird is I speak four languages. And I think, you know, when you speak four languages, it's like you've got four personalities. It's like you've got four different minds running together. Like a cow has four stomaches, you know, <laughs> I have four different languages. And all of them represent a version of me and who I am and how I think. And they all help me to think in different ways than I would normally would be able to. Sign number, perhaps five. <laughs> I joined a political party at age 12, yes. Age 12, I showed up about the height of other people's waist, looking up at everyone and saying, hey, I want to get involved in the Social Democrats and I, I want to be politically involved. And everyone was like, oh my gosh, that kid is cute. And so it started, my political journey, my political career. I uh, started sending in uh, different opinion pieces to newspapers, I complained about my teachers, I was a rebel in school, I started asking questions I shouldn't, and I started, you know, rebelling in any way possible. My teachers soon learned that if they did something that I thought was unfair, they'd be in the newspaper. Sign number six that I'm odd. I memorized 40 digits of pi. Okay, I don't really remember them anymore, but I once met this autistic kid and he said he knew 40 digits of pi and I thought, hey, I can try that. So I learned 40 digits of pi. 3.14, 15, 92, 65, 35, 89, 79, 32, 38, 46, something like that. <laughs> you know, I, I memorized the, these digits of pi just because it was fun and I took like one day to do it because, because why not? And so I started noticing what was really weird about me and I was starting to finally grasp what was odd about me and it was executive over function, <laughs> you know. This is sign number seven that I'm on. 
executive overfunction or hyperfunction. Okay, so what I meant with this was I had this capacity to spend 24 hours just grinding something and I learned it so fast and I memorized it so easily that I was able to just grind something in, like just pour in everything about it and just memorize it and just keep it. And it didn't matter what kind of topic it was. It should be said that because I have these issues, I often drive myself to exhaustion, I overwhelm myself, I start getting headaches, I start uh, <laughs> deflating, I crash, I have burnouts, and I often overexhaust myself trying to do too much too fast. Sign number seven that I'm odd. I knew what I wanted to be from age five. I knew from age five that I wanted to be a philosopher. And I've continued to work towards that goal for the rest of my life. I published my first theory on philosophy when I was 13. It was something I call the balance theory or the line theory. And it spoke about how we can achieve happiness through achieving greater balance. Simple, I know, but I was a kid. Sign number eight is I published more than 2,000 blog posts and I've published more than a thousand videos. Yeah, my capacity to produce and create content, to write, to write a lot in a very quick amount of time, yes, definitely can make me considered abnormal. And sign number nine is I read at about like 700 words or three pages per minute. Sign number nine is I'm a speed reader. I read at about five, 600 words per minute. And yes, that's faster than the human eye can process information. Meaning, yes, actually, my reading comprehension is about 70%. 30% I tend to skip or miss. And I've developed a way to counteract this. I take aggressive amounts of notes. Sometimes I write notes that are longer than the book that I'm reading. And so that brings us to sign number 10. Most of my friends are nuts. Yes, most of my friends are neurodivergent to some extent, have ADHD or have some form of disorder or difference that makes them weird in some regard. And that's, to me, just entertaining, just interesting, just fascinating. And now you guys can tell me I'm an ENFP or an ENTP or an INFJ or an INTJ and whatever it is that you want to tell me. But to me, these categories don't really mean that much. They mean a lot for other people, yes and they can fit and accurately describe some people and their behavior, but they can't really fully explain me. And instead, I tend to take inspiration from a set of role models and people who I consider to be really inspiring, like YouTuber Xiao Manik, YouTuber Ray and Trayan, for example, Leonardo da Vinci. And the primary reason why I wanted to make this video is to prove to you that if a weirdo like me is able to find a normal job and is able to pay their rent and is able to live a normal life, so can you. Hashtag inspirational.